This video is going to be about risk, how you can take the look out of crypto by diversifying your portfolio and allocating risk accordingly. This is Moon River, it's ranked 395 out of the whole of the crypto market, it's high risk and this is how I'm playing it. And this is the Moon River chart, this is zoomed out on the macro, each one of these candlesticks represents one week of price action. So if you imagine that's a week, imagine that's a week and imagine that's a week, it takes three weeks for these three candles. So this is really investment style, this is zooming out, it's not trading, this is looking for the next bull run. So what I want to do first and foremost is there's two things that I want you to pay attention to and follow along with me guys add these to your charts the simple thing is the stochastic RSI this is going to tell us whether the market's overbought or oversold remember under 20 on the stochastic if I just bring that up under 20 is oversold this is oversold and above 80 is overbought and if we just look at how price respects this you can see you've got a swing to the upside here that swing to the upside from where the stochastic was overbought, uh, oversold to overbought, was an increase of 127%. Doesn't look much there. Now, what happens here, you see, as we cross on the over 80 and start coming below under 80, then price starts reacting and pulling back along with that. So when you're in trend, when you're in a bullish trend, you can use this stochastic. And as long as you're putting in those higher lows, this is going to be your friend. So the next thing that we're going to do is going to be the Fibonacci. This is my friend, the Fibonacci retracement. And what I want to do is I want to see, are these levels respected on Moon River? So if we go by the swing low here, stick it all the way to the swing high. And the levels that we're looking for on the Fibonacci to be respected is the 61.8 and the 78.6. So once you've gone and closed below the 78.6, things are changing, the trend's likely to reverse, and you're gonna get more of a deeper pullback. So 618 is a healthy retracement. You can see we pulled back, hit the 618 once, nearly twice, three times, four times, five times before ultimately we dropped down. What was the next level of support gonna be? It was gonna be sat here, $12.08, and, and that is your 78.6% retracement. Use the 786 as your last ditch hope as far as retracements are concerned. So we can look at that. We know that the Fibonacci levels work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick a macro Fibonacci level from its previous all time high all the way to its bear market low and see what levels that we've got that are gonna be interesting. So it's not all about hitting all time highs on these old coins. Get rid of that. It's not all about hitting all time highs. It's about looking realistically where price action is going to go. Remember, this is an old coin. It might not go to all time highs. It might go to all time highs. But 38.2% retracement, it's got a high probability of coming back and reaching that. And from where price action is currently sitting, the 38.2% retracement is a gain of 1,522%. So that's a 15, 15 and a half X. So would you be happy with 15 and a half X? I know I would be. Would you put all of your capital into that to try and get that 15 and a half X? Definitely not, guys. Definitely not. I certainly wouldn't be doing that. But what this allows for is perfect risk management. What's the downside here compared to the upside? Your downside, 71%. And we know the upside, 15 and a half X. So 1,500%. So that's what I'm looking for. The actual 382 retracement as far as monetary uh, terms are concerned, is $207.61. So that's what I'm looking for on Moon River. I'm preparing myself for the next bull run. I've got little, little, little bits of this in my portfolio, and I'm hoping to make that 15x to the 382. If it hits the 382, I'm happy, I'm out. Um, if you did find this useful, guys, check out my altcoin playlist. Let me know what you want me to cover next. Leave a message in the comments, and I'll be happy to go over that, and I'll see you in the next one.